Hi guys, it's been about a month now since the YouTube Live Gathering out in Sydney and I promised you that I'd be sharing with you some of the awesome things that we learned. So here begins a new series which will help you optimize your YouTube channel. Keeping your audience's attention can be a pretty tough task, so here are three things which will help you on the road for keeping their engagement. Number one. You might like to think how your video starts, because this is generally the time when people think about whether this is a good video to continue watching or not. Make sure your video has purpose, let your audience know clearly straight away what your video is about, and they'll most likely watch to the very end. You don't want to make a video about yourself and your vanity, because that doesn't have purpose and people are usually not very impressed. These three videos I thought had very good introductions, so I'll tell you why. Nicole's captivating intro is just downright ridiculous. Good evening! My name is Nicole Henriksen, and this is Nicole's Expose. This week, Jimmy Hill. Some of you may know Jimmy Hill as the attractive and hilarious Birmingham YouTubian. See here, being attractive and hilarious. Sure, he's amazing, but is he really worth your soul? Matt's video uses intriguing titles and intro graphics. Hello, everybody, and welcome to an awesome episode of Soul Shadow. My name is Matt Holland, and I'm here to Soul Shadow. I hope you're having a good time because I'm having a happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sod your shit out. And Tyler's video sets up a scandalous story. Edward, you're so funny. You're so fit. Your abs. They're so nice. And oh no, Edward. Oh no, are you okay? Who's that? Number two. Consider how long your video is. Most successful videos on YouTube are around the lengths of about two to four minutes long, and this is an optimal length of time in which you can clearly express your video ideas to your viewers. Now that's not to say that long videos are bad, it's just that it can be quite hard to continue engaging with your viewers for that length of time. You also want your viewers to be able to write, watch right to the very end of your video because that's most likely when they're going to write a comment below your big pretty video. Number three. Number three. Consider how you get your viewers involved with your videos. It's amazing how often we forget that YouTube is actually a video social network. Much like Facebook and Twitter, we have the joy of being able to comment and like and message with our content creators, so it's always important to remind your viewers to respond to your stuff. You can do this by posing a question perhaps. They could respond by making a comment down below, or they could do a video response to your video. Also invite them to like your video, and remember, more importantly, if you want your viewers to come back and see more of your stuff, you can invite them to subscribe. So just for a quick recap guys, there are three things to consider. Think about how you start your video, you want to engage with your audience straight away. Secondly, how long is your video? You don't want to bore people out by 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 minutes long. And thirdly, think about how you respond to your viewers. It's really get to, good to get them involved and by you responding to them, it shows them that you are actually engaged with them and that you care about them. Guys, thanks so much for watching. This is a new series which I'm going to be producing for every Tuesday, so subscribe. It's a series which will teach you about how to better your YouTube experience and also how you can better your editing workflow for creating videos for the internet. Check out next week's video next Tuesday, which is looking at insight. This is YouTube's way of showing you statistical information about your videos and your viewers. 